welcome to today's video. Those of you that are new to my channel, hi, my name is Maria, and today I'm going to share with you a luxury haul that I did. It all came in the mail today, and I purchased all the items from Smith & Coe, which is a department store in Auckland City in New Zealand. And normally when I place an order, it gets there the next day or the day after. So this is the box that it came in. And I really didn't order that many products, but they just put a whole lot of packaging in there. And the separate items that they've bought from what I can see, they've just packaged really, really beautifully. They had a 10% sale on. So I thought I would pick up a few items that I've been eyeing for quite a while and this was a good time to pick them up. So I decided to purchase a Jo Malone candle because I'd recently just tried out the new Jo Malone Intense perfume that she had and a classic of hers, the Grapefruit Cologne. And I did a video reviewing those products and I love them and I love the different fragrances. They're really, really beautiful. So I wanted to get one of her candles. So it's only just one candle, but they have put it in this packaging here, which is really, really beautiful. So we'll open it up and take a look. This is the packaging for the candle. How beautiful is that? It looks like it would be this enormous candle, and I don't think it is but with the beautiful bow tie and a black type of matte box. This is gorgeous. I'm going to keep this box and I'm not quite sure what I'm going to store in it, but I'm certainly not going to be throwing it away. And inside is quite a bit of protective tissue paper. So we'll take out the candle. So inside is a small little, it is a candle care card and I've had a quick read and it does say to keep the wick trimmed to quarter of an inch or six millimeters. I need to get a candle wick trimmer so I need to have a look online and get one. As you can see in my background I love candles. I have a lot of different brands. A couple of them that I use are New Zealand made and I quite like earthy scents, but I also quite like the citrus scents as well with candles. And this Jo Malone one is called the Orange Blossom. And this will be a really citrusy one. So it looks really, really beautiful. The packaging is just stunning. <laughs> I don't know whether I want to open it. I think I'll just leave it on my shelf for a while for show because it's so, so pretty. But I've heard that these candles are absolutely gorgeous. They have quite a long burn time. I think there's over 40 hours use from them. And it's just really, really gorgeous. So I am excited to try this candle out. But I'll probably just put it on my shelf here in the beauty room here. Just so I can admire the way it looks now. Really, really pretty. The next products I'll open are from Le Mer, and I got two products. One is a skincare item and the other one is a makeup brush. And I would have to say that Liz from Chicago Law and Makeup made me buy this powder brush. I've seen her use it so many times on her Instagram stories and on her YouTube videos. I know it's a favorite of hers and I really wanted to try it out. So let's take a look inside again before I pop this down. Look at this gorgeous packaging. So the people that packed this for me at Smith & Coe's to get it ready for postage just do a beautiful, beautiful job. It just looks absolutely gorgeous. So inside, they also put in one of the ladies there, Jasmine, put in her business card. And on the back, she wrote, Dear Maria, thanks for your online order. Have a lovely day. Kind regards, the Lemire team. So it's always really lovely having a personal touch. They also popped in a little sample. 
and it's of the hydrating illuminator so it'll be interesting to see what that's like so we'll take a look at the powder brush first this is the packaging that it comes in a beautiful white box i wasn't expecting that i thought it would just be wrapped in some type of plastic the brush itself didn't think it would be presented like that so it looks really really gorgeous so I am going to open this up and we'll take a look at the brush. So inside it comes in this protective plastic sleeve to protect the brush and there's some plastic packaging on the handle on the ferrule. So I'll remove that so we can have a closer look. And here is the brush. It's really, really beautiful with a white type of enamel type of covering shiny and the silver colored ferrule and the brush feels absolutely gorgeous super super soft i can see now before i've even used it for applying product i know it will apply powder really really beautifully and i can see why liz loves hers so much this is just absolutely gorgeous and I'm pleased to add this to my makeup brush collection. And the other Lumia product I got is a skincare item and a while ago, it's probably about six or eight weeks ago now, I purchased the Lumia The Tonic and it's used like a toner essence and I've been using that at night and I really, really have been enjoying it. I think it's really beautiful and hydrating and goes really well with my oily skin. So I decided to pick up another product of theirs and this one is the cleansing gel. So I'm going to open this up as well so you can take a look at the bottle. The bottle is actually plastic but it weighs quite a bit. So you get quite a lot of product. Does it say on the packaging? Yes, it's 200 mils of product. 6.7 fluid ounces so it is a decent amount i'm going to introduce this one into my evening skincare routine as well the last couple of months i've been keep i've kept my morning routine like i have since january last year but for my evening routine i decided to go full on luxury skincare and it's been going really well and i've been enjoying all the products that's why I wanted to buy this and I'm going to introduce this into my evening skincare routine and I'll start doing that tonight. It has a pull off lid and a pump dispenser and apparently this is like a gel type of formula and apparently it's suited for normal to oily skin. So that's why I thought this would be really, really nice for my skin and it's supposed to have a slight foaming type of formula which I think will be really really pleasant when I do the second step of cleansing at night because I always use either a cleansing oil or balm and then go in with a cleanser so I'm really looking forward to trying this out and I like to try skincare ingredients unless I have a bad reaction to it but I really like to try them out for a good six weeks or possibly even longer. But once I've been using it for that time, I will give an update of how these products have been going. And possibly what I'll do is just do a video showing all the luxury skincare products that I'm using in my evening skincare routine. I also picked up some Tom Ford products. I thought this was a good time with the sale that Smith & Coe's had. About a couple of months ago when I went up to Auckland and went to Smith & Coe's in person, when I bought some products they also gave me some samples of some fragrances and one of them was the Tom Ford fragrance. It is Costa Azura and I loved it. I just think it's absolutely gorgeous and with the sale on I thought this was a good time to pick up the full size bottle. I got 100 mils. So whoever packaged this at Tom Ford, this is really, really stunning as well. So I'll open it up and we'll take a look at the bottle. So here is the packaging that it comes in. I just want to make sure it's not reflecting too much so you can see beautiful white packaging 
with the gold on the front there. I'm gonna open up the plastic and undo the box so you can take a look at the bottle. And here is the bottle. It's really, really gorgeous. It is the glass with the gold on the front. Up top it has Tom Ford and then the name of the fragrance underneath. And the glass is ridged, so it is textured and has a gold cap with the Tom Ford logo on the front. I'll just turn that so you can see it. I'll hold up the bottle a bit closer so you can take a closer look at it as well. And it has just a pull off cap and a spray. So reading from the website, this fragrance is described as it has a mix of the saltiness and woody scents and it also has citrus in it as well. I wish you could smell this. It is absolutely gorgeous. And maybe if you're interested in this, if you can try and find somewhere that has a sample of it and see what you think of it. But I absolutely love it. And the last two products are Tom Ford products. And I picked up a blush and I also picked up a eyeshadow quad. Neither of these products are new, just new to me. And I got the blush in the color Ravish. I thought this was really, really lovely color. I do have two other Tom Ford blushes and I love the formula. I think they look really, really beautiful on the skin. They also blend out really, really well. So if those of you that haven't seen the color Ravish before, this is what it looks like. Really, really beautiful color, more deeper than the other two colors that I've got. And I'm really looking forward to trying this out. The quad that I got is called Double Indemnity. And I thought this looked really, really nice. And I'm excited to give this a try. This has more deeper shades in it. It has a plastic covering on top. So I'm just going to remove that. And these are the shadows. I think they're really, really gorgeous. Could do a really beautiful smoky eye with this palette. I just love the colors and I just wanted to add it to my collection. It is so different to the other couple of Tom Ford quads that I have. And like I said, I really love the formula of these quads. So I'm really excited to try this eyeshadow quad. I think it'll be really, really beautiful. And that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. Bye.